Hello YouTube, Ruth Baskew here again with another video. Today is <clears throat> Magic Monday, and so I thought I would share with you guys um, some of the things that I'm working with. Um, I know we're getting close to um, the uh, Halloween, Samhain, so I have been going over the book for the goddesses through October, and today is the 29th, because tomorrow will be the 30th, and then Wednesday is the 31st. So the goddess for today was the Valkyrie. And there was a little thing in my Goddesses for Every Day book on the Valkyrie, right here. And so when you have the Valkyrie, it's Discursion. Um, the Valkyrie are beautiful Norse goddesses of fate sent into battle by the god Odin. Their name means choosers of the slain, and they decide who lives and who dies. Some were fully driven, and some were half mortal. Some were fully divine and some were half mortal, living among humans for a time. In the heroic rule tells they were bands of warrior women whose leader was the beautiful daughter of powerful of a powerful king the leader bren hilda whose name means very victory bringer was the most famous and she also doubled as a human princess like many goddesses the valkyrie have a complete nature and it sometimes seems cons contradictory in their er earlier and darker role they wove the web of war and used their magic to influence the outcome and aid their favorites in bolfer's mythology we are told that their armor um, means a strange flickering light which flares up over the mod northern skies creating the northern lights the valkyrie also serve as cup bearers in verhala the norse par paradise and they are ruled to the norm norns and the greek phase as weavers of the threads of fate in the lives of humans War takes a heavy toll, no matter the outcome. I choose not to engage in needless battles. And that would be the thought for the day. So I thought I'd show that, because we were supposed to honor the Valkyrie today, according to my Goddess for Every Day book. And then, um, because we are in the month of Halloween, I have this book called The Witch's Halloween. And there were several things in this book that I found quite interesting that I thought would fit for Magic Monday. Um, there was a chapter in here that covered the um, Day of the Dead and honoring the ancestors. There was a there's a, a chapter in here that tells the history of it and how it began and different things over the time being over the times. And there's even some poems in here. Um, I would read them, but I don't want to take up too much time. And some of them are even hard for me to read. Um, like this one right here. I can't get it to... But it's um, traditional Halloween rhyme. Last Halloween, I, I sought a walnut tree in hopes my true lover face I might see. Three times I called, three times I walked, a piece then in the tree I saw my true love's face. So this would be, this poem right here, even though it's just a, um, a rhyme, would probably be said if someone wanted to see who their true love's, the, the true, their true love's face for a love, like a love spell. So like if you wanted to attract love to you, and you wanted to see who this new love was going to be, you would do that with the um, 
tree that he was talking about in that rhyme. And then you would be able to see the face of your true love. Now, whether that's true or not, I don't know. I'm sure in some cases it could be. But I really like this book, The Witch's Halloween. Um, it's a uh, really interesting book. Um, it has all kinds of information and things you can do. It's got recipes for um, cakes and ales and stuff for celebrating the Samhain. Um, it's got poems in it. It's got dances in it. It's got songs in it. It's like if you're gathering around with a bunch of other Wiccans and you're celebrating Samhain. You can do the songs that are in, uh, that are in this book. Um, you can read the rhymes that are in this book. You can um, make the cakes and stuff that are in this book and use them for your get-together. You can um, make things, um, do some of the activities. Children can do the bobbing for apples and, you know, and the trick-or-treat that everybody does. Um, I haven't finished the whole book yet. I'm back. I've barely actually touched on it because I was really interested in a lot of other things that I've been doing. So I wanted to share that today for my Magic Monday. Um, I thought it would be interesting. Um, I didn't prepare very well today like I was going to. Like I was going to actually sit down over the weekend and, and, and decide what I was going to do. And it didn't turn out that way. <laughs> so now I'm just winging it. Um, you know, they have ap apple snapping, apple and candle night, um, pumpkin night. It's pumpkin night tonight. It's pumpkin night tonight. Give us a candle. Give us a light. If if you don't, you'll get a fright. It's pumpkin night tonight. It's pumpkin night tonight. <coughs> Adam and Eve wouldn't believe it's pumpkin night tonight. That's something unusual I've never heard of before. And that was something that was said in some parts of England by people who went trick-or-treating. So, you know, it has little tidbits of things like that. Um, I think it's an all-in-all right, really fun book. I can't find the author's name on this book right now, and maybe that's because the print is so small in areas that I am having a hard time reading. Um, who may have done this book. Um, so, but it's, uh, The Witch's Halloween, if any of you are interested in it, and, um, you may be able to find it, <coughs> excuse me, on the internet. This is what the book looks like. A Witch's Halloween. Got loads and loads and fun, tons of fun stuff in it, and information in it. And if some of you want to follow A Goddess for Every Day, that is this book right here, A Goddess for Every Day. Um, this is by Julie L Lore, Loran, or Lore, I can't pronounce the last name. I'm terrible with pronouncing names, but there's her name right there. And then this is the name of the book. So you might, probably might be able to still find that one on eBay too, I'm not really sure, or, if, or Amazon. I know I've had this book for a very, 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 very long time. And as you can see, it's falling apart. I've used it so much. I had to tape it back together at one point. And then the back of it is just falling apart. And I'm always marking pages in it. And you can see how the pages have yellowed a little bit. So this is an old book. I've had it for a long time. But there's the Arthur's name right there in frame and then there's the name of the book a goddess for every day so if any of you are interested in that book that's what you look for and then this one a witch's halloween and um so that is my video for magic Mon or magic monday um i hope you like this video if you do link it share it subscribe hit the bell so you're notified whenever i may put up new videos and remember that to always be yourself, unless you can be a dragon, then always be a dragon. Blessed be, folks.